Here we are, back out on a boat again, doing what I love most. Um, back here in the UK, you'll normally find me fishing the reservoirs when we're fishing quite deep water. I mean, certainly 20 foot and above. Last year, we were um, very fortunate to get the opportunity to go and see a few of our consultants over in Sweden. Um, thank you very much to them for a fantastic time. And we fished very, very different. Fished out on a boat, which obviously I love and I, I really enjoy and I'm very, very used to. Uh, one thing I wasn't used to was fishing for pike and perch in the sea. Uh, so we was in the archipelago. And um, also fishing so shallow. We fished between a metre and three metres for pretty much the whole trip. Um, had a fantastic time. And uh, as you'll see in the coming video, we had great fun. So stay tuned till the end of the video where uh, you'll get the opportunity to win a selection of the, um, the lures and the end tackle that we used over in Sweden. And um, hopefully you'll be able to put them to use in the UK and catch as many as we did. So here we are, somewhere a little bit different, and we're out in Sweden for day one of fishing. Out with hands, yep. we're going to try and catch some big perch, yep. and uh, it's going to be a very, very hot day, but Let's we're going to give this. it our best yep. and catch some fish. Let's do this. Let's go. <sighs> okay. And always cast towards structure. Yeah. Yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> you oh. know how it goes. And I don't know how you do it back uh, back home when you're shadow bait fishing. Are you like retrieving, pulsing? Uh, a lot retrieve. of straight retrieve. Okay, quite a okay. lot. Okay. Yeah. You like on the pause? Yeah. They all they often take uh, when the bait is sitting on the bottom. Right. And how deep are we fishing now? Oh, I think it's like What's a bit that? over a meter. Uh, yeah. 2.7. Oh, it's 2.7. Okay, good, 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 good. How was your drag? Mm, pretty tight. That's good. <laughs> good. You fish tight? Yeah. Yeah, rock bottom. Yeah. Lock it up. Yeah. We should be able to to catch yeah. some. Oh, you have? Yeah. Good. But that's a nice fish. Good job, man. <laughs> Perfect, man. That's what we came for. Bladed jig, first perch of the day. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Here, man, take it. <laughs> That's what we come to Sweden for. Congratulations. Some good fishing early yeah. on. Yeah. I don't know, 14. Two-ish, yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah. Where did you hook them? Halfway just, to the boat or? Uh, no, just off the that? rocks, yeah. Oh, okay, just good. off the rocks, good. just on the fall as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice. Jellyfish in the water. Yeah. But we're lucky it isn't a lot of them right now. Normally more? Yeah. It's it's really crazy. Gonna fish us <clears throat> around here and back to the, the other little island. Yep. And back again. If in case we missed some. We'll catch them. Yeah.
Are they in small groups or? Yeah, yeah. they're in small groups right just now. Just like threes and fours? Yeah. 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 So often you, ca you catch like one, two. Yeah, maybe, maybe yeah. three on the, on yeah. the same spot. Then you really need to move. So the most eff efficient way to catch a lot of fish is just like to fish fast and move, move. fast. Yeah. yeah. And we need the wind to pick up a little bit. It's very calm, yeah, very flat. Right now it's really calm. How was the strike? Yeah, good. It was good? Straight on. Nice, nice. There we go. Fish number two. <laughs> Man. They're, they're so beautiful. They're fantastic. Yeah. Look at the colours on that. Yeah. They are just amazing. Oh, come here. Stunning colours. Yeah. Beautiful fish. What do, you, what do we have, like 45 or 46 centimeter or what you, do we think? Ah, uh, early 40s, yeah, something like that. What, this one? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, a bit bigger, yeah. 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 Really beautiful. Lovely colors. Yeah. Lovely wild fish in big wild waters. Yeah, fish. <laughs> no, serious? Yeah. Let's go! <clears throat> strong fish. Yeah, they're really strong. Hey! <laughs> Perfect. A little bit smaller. Yeah. Yeah, but they're strong. They're Very strong. strong. Yeah, and the colors, they're amazing. Yeah, good job, man. Slick finesse. Yeah. Played it, Jay. Slick finesse, try, yeah. Lovely Swedish perch. What a team. Yeah, good what job, man. Team. Really good. Strong fish. Yeah, they're really strong. That was right up shallow. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah right up good. against the rocks. Um, much bigger waters, bigger, wilder waters. And um, yeah, just the opportunity to fish right up tight against structure, yeah. which obviously back at home, we haven't really got much opportunity to do no. that. You're no. fishing to a pontoon or to a tower or to, you know not as much is that the main structure so yeah. like man-made things yeah generally yeah okay whereas here there's structure everywhere yeah you know? yeah it's everywhere Are you feeling anything? Pardon? Are you feeling anything? Or is it... I'm feeling like it's going to be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually I'm feeling... Done. Yeah, I'm feeling like I should now. get a crankbait out. <laughs> That's good. Do you have crayfish in these waters? No. No? No. It's only in the, in the lakes. Lakes and rivers. So we think the perch eat lots of crayfish back at home. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good sign when a lake have a lot of crayfish because the, the perch are getting bigger 
Don't yeah. you think like yeah. if, if much bigger if they're only eating like minnows or something? When they have crayfish as well, they're like getting bigger, I think. Do the spots um, over at your place, does it like switch as depending on the, on the time of the day? Yeah, they um, definitely come on the feed, but not, yeah. necessarily, not necessarily first thing or last thing, it's just some that triggers them. Okay, and, um, okay. But, oh. Fishing is generally <clears throat> easier or better in yeah. the morning. Are they um, switching uh, like uh, food source? Any time of day, or is it just always um, the same? Yeah, I think in the in the lakes and rivers where we've got, we call them fry, lakes and rivers where we've got lots of crayfish. Yeah. As soon as the crayfish are up and active and they yeah. come over the gravel, yeah. then the perch are. But do you fish uh, fish for them in the night? I mean, crayfish are really active in the. In the um, night. Have you tried to? Not a lot. No. no okay. Because here in Sweden, it's really, really popular to, you know, to, to be up all night and for per perch fishing. Yeah, for perch fishing and using a crayfish imitation. Oh, oh <laughs> see man! Him, see him! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. When our ordinary sized bait doesn't work, you can put on like a, a much bigger bait. Yeah, and then they will strike. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. That's that's the fun part part with perch. You need to you need to test everything to know what's what's working. <coughs> I'm thinking I've brought one box with me. that's just stuffed with <laughs> pike and perch bits and bobs. And as everyone back at home knows, I love a crankbait. So. I'm just going to have a little play. It's quite weedy, it's probably going to be quite difficult, but just a slightly different presentation. Salmo, rattling all it, shallow runner. But if you would have to choose now, uh, a two kilo perch or a 50 centimeter perch? Mm. For today. For today? Yeah. A 50. Okay, a 50. I don't know why I say that. A two kilo <laughs> perch is a big perch. Yeah, it's a big perch. It's a big perch. <laughs> yeah. That was a good strike. Oh, was it? Yeah, how that didn't hook up, I don't know. <gasps> On the pause. <laughs> cool. So often if I'm catching fish is when I change my baits most often. Yeah, okay. To try to work yeah. out what's, yeah. what's going on, what improves yeah. or slows down your catch rate. That's good, that's good. But today we're fishing for one one fish, and it's a big fish. A big one. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And what's a big, big fish for yourselves? Uh, they're getting good when they're over 1.8 kilos. Yeah. Then they start so to it's three and a half pound, isn't it? Yeah. 1.8, just yeah. over, yeah. I'm going to try jerk bait for the second lap around. KVD? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to start with that one. Oh, see. Yeah, my favorite color yeah. as well. Yeah. Hey, it's really good. Yeah. So as it gets hotter, do you think the perch move shallower and sit in the weed or do they move deeper off the drop offs and sit deep where it's a bit cooler? Uh, I think uh, they go up deeper yeah. and just uh, push down to the bottom and just wait there. 
but of course we can catch them in uh, in heavy weed next to the structure. Yeah, as well. So yeah, but during the day it can be really hard. Is it the same for you? Yeah. Yeah. Perch can be really hard full stop at home sometimes. <laughs> they just, yeah. you know they're there and you just can't get a bite for love nor money. Yeah, sometimes sometimes they're so easy, easy to catch and yeah. sometimes they're like, you can't understand them. But that's the fun part. Normally if you start catching pike yeah. early on, yeah. you're not going to catch the perch yeah. until you've got the pike out of the way, until okay. they've been caught. Okay. If the pike are in the perch spots, that's when you've got bother. Okay. During the, the spring and the winter we can catch like, in the same spot we can catch a perch, and next one a pike, and next one a perch, Is and it? next one a pike. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got a list of lures. That's okay. good. Yes. Do you have a fish? A small one. Oh, good. Yeah. Hmm, maybe not so small. <laughs> oh, good. On the crankbait? <laughs> no, just dig in. No, it was on the shadow bait, okay. Cool! Good job, man. Yeah, the colors are amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Lovely perch. Yeah, really beautiful. Let's see how quick we can catch a pike. How quick we can catch a pike? Ray! <laughs> on the KB there. There we go. You got him? Yeah. Yeah. Travels. <laughs> yeah, travels. <laughs> They're horrible. Perfect. Good strike. Yeah. Yeah, they are. I enjoy crankbait fishing. I love fishing crankbaits. Okay. But so, it's not always like today, you know, yeah. you've seen straight away that we've had one hit over there, but um, yeah. I don't feel like it's a... It's I all definitely when... like the bladed jig. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. As long as I'm fishing active, yeah. my worst would be drop shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I feel you. Or a Ned rig. They're coming out of that weed. Yeah. This isn't normal to catch this, like, um, the size of the fish is yep. really, is really small. That's really unusual. And I hate trebles. There we go. Look at that. That's how a box should look. It's uh, the summertime box. You know, the hack attack, this one, the blue one, with, um, you know, uh, the black crawl that you looked yep. at earlier. Yeah. I actually really like the dark blades yeah. as opposed to the yeah. flashy blades. Yeah. But here, sometimes we have noticed that when we fish with a, a new new bait with yeah. a dark blade contra fishing with like a yeah, yeah. A sil silvery one you yeah. get a lot more fish like when they when they're worn out yeah. and they're silvery when the colors yeah. come off yeah interesting yeah <laughs> have look at the replicants now not not yet <laughs> i haven't gone that far yet <laughs> Still got the perch pole. Kev's always looking. <laughs> yep, 
White out now. Oh, do you like white? Yeah. In clear water? Down, down here it's really good. Is it? Yeah. I don't know why, but I hate white. <laughs> it's a color I just can't get any confidence in. Okay. There we have them. Good morning. <sighs> Ooh, there we go. Hey, oh my Good God. job. Awesome in this clear water. Brilliant. Bye bye. <coughs> Good job. Well, if you look to the right, to that edge there. Is that one island or is that the shore? All the way that's one the island yeah. and that's a different island. And the drop off's in between? Uh, you, yes. Yeah. Yes, it's, uh, it's drop, dropping off in between, but we're just gonna fish the, yeah, the deep edge. Yeah. They used to stand like from here, and you see the the weed line. Yep. When it's meeting the sand, just in between them. Yeah, in between them. Is it clear like this all year round? No, we can have um, during the winter time. It's almost always clear, but when we have really bad weather and a lot of wind, it's get, uh, it gets really murky, really murky. Does the fishing get better or worse? It depends. Uh, if, it's, uh, if it gets really, really murky, then it's, uh, then it's worse, in my opinion. Yeah. You want quite steady weather and the same winds a couple of days. And then. Then it's on. So we've been out for a couple of hours this morning now and the um, the temperature's definitely rising. <laughs> the fishing was great for the first hour, then we had a couple more in the next sort of half hour, hour, and we've had a few followers since, but it's definitely got remarkably harder as the as the sun's come up and as the temperatures got up. I mean it's still only about half seven in the morning, but um, Hans has had a couple on the KVD yeah, 200. Yeah, KVD and the Thunder Cricket. And the, yeah, so on the um, bladed jigs, we've done very, very well. Chopped and changed a few spots, and um, definitely the key seems to be where there's rocks and weeds together, then the perch seem to be sitting right in the weeds and coming out of the weeds. Um, but yeah, we're on about spot three now. Yep. Just giving it another blast, and um, keep going until the sun gets too hot and we'll take a bit of a break I think. That sounds good. <laughs> Hey Paul. It's a good it's a good one. <sighs> Whee! Well done man. Well done. Good job. Good job indeed. Uh, it's shed. Big bait, big perch. Yeah. He's at him. Bladed jig. jig out of sight. That's a fat one actually. Yeah, really fat. Come on. There you go. Good job. Should I or am I covering the fish down? <laughs> really good. Another lovely fish. perch. Yeah. Right on the right on the weeds.
49. Lovely perch. Took on the Thunder Cricket, uh, just on the drop, with a um, rage, rage swim, rage swimmer as a as a trailer. Really beautiful. 49 centimeters and about 1.7 kilograms. Really lovely. Now we're gonna release her. Always nice. Lovely. Exactly the same uh, weight as the last one. Was it? Yeah. 1.7. Yeah, 1.7. 1.710. And uh, but this one was uh, one uh, centimeter longer. Oh. It, it was 49 and almost a half. So uh, not quite 50, but I get there. Next one. Yeah. So if you wonder who I am, I I work as a um, as a media. Um, what's it called? Coordinator. Media coordinator here in Sweden, and I decided to join the boys for the for the evening. Show them how it's done. Oh, they're so strong. <laughs> Woo ah. There we go. Lovely. Good one. Well done. On the Fox Rage Blader Jig and the Sander Pro Shed as a trailer. Really beautiful fish. Oh, awesome. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> oh, awesome. That's a summer perch. Yeah, that's a Swedish summer perch. And she was standing so that's close to the shore. Perch. Awesome. Right on the stroll on you. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> and now she will We will get her back immediately. Back home. Nice! It's a musky! <laughs> it's a musky! <laughs> it's a musky! <laughs> oh, you don't want to. Perfectly well, hooked. Take, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, and I, I didn't have the, the drag oh, tightened. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh my Sander Pro Shad is hammered. So beautiful. Another one on the fox bladed jig with a striking rage swimmer trailer. Awesome bait and an awesome fish. Close to the margin as usual. Nice. Absolutely. That's right, it seems to be. Well, that brings us to the end of day one of our adventure out in Sweden. Um, Hannes. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank it's you. been um, oh, just mega fishing. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't know what to say. The perch fishing, um, we've had numerous big perch to the boat, um, loads of pikers bycatch. I've uh, been up since the crack of dawn, fished really hard in this beautiful scenery, lovely weather, a bit hot for it at times, but we've persevered all day. Um, you've taught yeah. me a lot about fishing through the weed, and yeah. fishing above the weed, and how to 
combat that by fishing a combination of the um, the Strike King and the Fox Rage braided jigs. Uh, we've got through I don't know how many trailers. <sighs> yeah. Everything from um, paddle tails to um, slick sheds, uh, some creature baits. But I mean, all told, it's been a fantastic yeah. day. A long day, day, a long day, but a perfect day. Yeah. But thank you very much. You've been a great host. Thanks for having me. And it's been um, it's been very very enjoyable. See the surface. Thank you. Got oh, big stones. Yeah. Ah. No. I don't know if you can see this, completely different to yesterday. We're meandering our way around some huge boulders out here. You need the local knowledge not to smash your motor up. Yeah, it's hard to fish out there when the wind is picking up. And you can't see you, the you must know the place. Yeah. That one's coming out of the water nearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's hard wind, you can smash the boat. Oh, follow up, follow up, follow up. Oh yeah. Oh, he ne nebby. <laughs> oh, he oh, did the tail. The, the tail. Oh, look. He nebbed it. Nebbed it once, then he... Folded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Soon we're gonna trick them. Changing? Yep. I like to change a lot. Yeah, it's not it's not a bad thing to do that. To see what they want. Join the pro set. I love it. Yeah. And you like uh, strong colors too. Yeah. Yeah. You don't do. No, it. no, no. no. <laughs> we will see. Yeah, crystal clear water, some people think about when it's crystal clear you cannot use uh, hard uh, colors, but it can be very effective too. Was well, recently, isn't it, Kevin? Yeah. It. Yeah, I don't mind what color the water is. <laughs> you go for it. Absolutely. Some days uh, you it's believe just crazy, it. yeah. That's, well, that's why I like to just keep trying different colors and different baits and then you find out, don't you? Yeah. I'm gonna do a, a change quick. Quick change. Uvi Goldie. On the pro grab? Yeah. It's a little bit deeper on the, the flat here. Then I can go spin a little bit slower. slower. Yep. And now we see what's happened. What size? The is biggest. That? The biggest one. Yeah. Yeah, it's 16 only that one. Yeah, it's a good new colour. Uh, Most of my pike fishing is probably with a, a pro shad of some description, jointed or normal. Yeah. Uh, 
but in the river home oh oh it come from nowhere <laughs> i do the stop and then bam that's yeah, small pikey first one of the day yeah well what did i tell you if not is any pike and in this one here Yeah, first pike. Fomsky's on it. First pike of the day. Now we have start and now we go for the bigger. Now we carry on. Yeah. Well done. That's important to have the first fish in the boat. Yep. Bit of confidence. Yeah. So it's right up fishing in the shallows. We come all the way around this little island here with loads of rocks everywhere. We've probably just got slightly deeper, a couple of foot, maybe two or three foot. And um, Posey said he's just on his retrieve. He's just stopped it and wallop. It's hit it on the pause. So fingers crossed, it's going to be a good day. It's very shallow. It's like a, a flat, shallow area like this and like a drop. It's like this. Like a horseshoe. Yeah. Yep. Mixing it up a bit, bit this morning. Pro shed time. It's a deadly combo. You're gonna catch a pike now. Big one. Yeah, I think that. Just dumped. Um, hopping from sort of island to island if you like um, but Polsky's just told us this one's slightly different huge huge rocks and the wind's blowing in now off of um, it's off the sea isn't it this is the yeah, sea yeah oh strike blowing into this oh. this bank no oh, and, uh, two times already Polsky said a, a oh, double strike now he's got him on look. there we go talked it in now we're in two times talked it in He, want, he wanted the Prusa. He wanted it. Yeah. The Sander Prusa. I missed the first strike, then I put, stopped it, and bam. He's at your tail. Yeah, he snatched it. Yeah, look. <laughs> it's a thief. <laughs> He's at your tail. It's a thief bike. Oh. Where is it? Thank you. So that's the second pike that Polsky's had this morning, both on the um, on the motor roll. Seems to be a colour that works very well out in this crystal clear water. They are so nice colours. Lovely colours. Look at the fins. Ah. Fish! <laughs> I put God, they pull like lunatics. Do you want uh, the net? You tell no, no, me. No. One pike in, one pike out. Hopefully. Yeah. Nice. Look at how the the area Straight can bang, change. Bang, bang. Yeah. That's it. He's an angry one. Yeah. Right on the snout. Yeah, it's sitting good. Thank you. Oh, first pike of the day. Yeah, now we're on. Lovely, lovely colours. Stocky fish. And they fight like crazy. <laughs> sure. Now you're gonna take a bigger. Now we'll take a bigger one. Yeah. Thank you. I must. Oh, you it's not you. Oh. That's how crazy they are. That one done me. Cheers.
<laughs> oh, is this more? Look at that. It's it that done it good. It? You can imagine a pike in 110 here in that color. Ooh, that was. Jealous. Yeah. Gender Pro Boat Royal. They're re Lovely really colors. big. Really uh, thick fish. Yeah. Thick packs. Yeah. A little bit bigger than we. Shed. Fingers all right, fingers good. Getting a few bites, getting a few buffaloes, fishing right up tight to the island. Shallow water, crystal clear, massive boulders. Right on the stones. You are strong fish. You're looking on the perch and the oh, pike is. <laughs> Watch out your finger now. They're savage. <laughs> yeah. We're getting a few now. And the size is getting a little bit getting bigger. Getting a little bit bigger. That's okay. Get that hook for me, please. Hey, hey. No problem. He bent it. Yeah, I see that. These things are just savage today. Pro shad. Pro shad. Yeah. Nightmare. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, he bent your hook a little bit. He bent my hook, that one. It was harness calling. That's how strong they're hitting. That area is a very much spawn area. Right, for you the know, pike. Yeah, yeah, it's much base and everything like that over there. You don't see that now. And all those trees is all because of the cormorants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This area is a little bit more higher grass. Yep. It's um, a little bit difficult to fish. We're going round into the middle. The middle is deeper. It's a very cool place. And rocky. Yeah. You can think about when it's a little bit more wind and you and struggling in there yeah. and the pole That's down. why people don't fish it. Nah, no, 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 they, they're afraid about that. You throw what the that side down. Only, I, go, I forgot to tell you. We've been out all morning and um, We've been trying hard in lots of random places. I mean, crazy stuff. Really shallow, loads of islands, loads of weed, loads of big rocks. Um, really trying for a better sized pike. We've seen a couple, but it's been really, really difficult. So back on the bladed jigs and uh, after the perch, 
It might try the pike again later, but yeah, over the grass, over the weed, see how we get on. Nice. Yeah, nice colors. No, yeah, the Kevin. Okay. Oh, another lovely Swedish perch. Catching Not the it. biggest that we've had, but it's a tough morning and they're just stunning. Yeah. They're lovely fish, isn't they? Nice. Absolutely stunning. On the Thunder Cricket again. <laughs> nice one. Thank you. <laughs> nice and easy. Catch and release. Found the cricket. Yeah. On the cricket. What a lovely fish. Look at the colors. Ah. That's a cracker. So it might not look like it now, but it's been a really flat, calm, roasting hot day. I mean, it's still roasting hot, but the wind's come up now, and um, we're really hopeful of a few fish. It's been proper tough. We gave up the pike fishing quite a few hours ago. Water temperature got too high. There was no wind. Um, air temperature was just far too high. Had a good old lunch break, a bit of a refuel, and um, went and searched out a few well certainly to us, was new areas, and managed to eventually find one island where we had a crazy five or ten minutes, had five or six um, good perch. But it seems like the perch seem to follow the wind somewhere, so we're now on the hunt to try and find a few more. Back on the bladed jigs, I mean, earlier today we was fishing a lot bigger for the pike, pro shads, pro grubs, uh, big sander pros, um, anything that push a bit of water. But the pike fishing was rock hard and like I say the water temperature just got too high really. So um, yeah after a good refuel, now the wind's picked up, we're hopeful of a good evening and uh, hopefully put a few more fish on the boat. Yeah, we had some double trouble action, line, pikes, <laughs> everything in five minutes. Pure chaos. Yeah. More um, bladed jig action over two, three foot of water, crystal clear, and a couple of lovely perch again. Yeah. Thunder cricket. Thunder cricket. AO um, striking. Uh, no. Swimmer. A Xander Pro. Yeah. But, um, mate. 
what a day. It's been really hard going. Yeah. And it just goes to show that if you just keep on hammering, as they say, <laughs> then uh, it all comes good in the end. But the, st the standard of fish out here is just unbelievable. Uh, look at the colors. The colors, they fight, fight like nothing else. And they're just... Um, really yeah. nice. We put them to the water and we take another one. Absolutely. Absolute carnage in the archipelago. It's been um, one of them where perseverance has paid off. We've tried and tried and tried and tried. We come across a little spot earlier. All hell broke, broke loose for five minutes. We come across some little shallows here and just yeah, chaos. Yeah. <laughs> two perch, the hell broke two perch and a pike, a good tangle, bite, bit and tails. Just that's what it's about. You've got to just keep casting and keep trying, isn't you? Yeah. And we went, we missed some too. And have a bloody good local guide. <laughs> Well, what a day. Yeah. The sun is setting. It's been blinking hard fishing, but Polsky's taken us here, there and everywhere. <laughs> Shown us where the fish are. Shown us how to bounce jig. Yesterday we was dragging um, bladed jigs through weed. Today we've been bouncing bladed jigs over rocks and uh, we found a few. Yeah. It's been a bloody good experience. Yeah, but it's... it's it was really good, but the weather was not that optimal. It's been very hot. We had no wind this morning when we tried to go pike fishing. Yeah. And then, uh, then the wind got right up this afternoon when we tried to go perch fishing. Yeah. But we've done well. We found a few. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was very enjoyable. Yeah. Well, that was the end of, uh, of day two. And what another mega day. Um, started off with a bit of pike fishing early doors, but it's just a bit too hot really. Um, we did have a few pike, we was out nice and early, had a few pike to start with um, and then decided to call it a day and go perch fishing. Uh, we chopped and changed about a bit, Polsky's got a bit of a faster boat and doesn't mind using it so we were jumping from island to island if you like, bit of island hopping. Condition changed somewhat and the wind was hacking in quite a bit so the perch move, I think it's according to how much salt water comes in with the wind. But we've done a bit of flying about. We found a few fish, a um, few double and treble hookups, which was fantastic. But the main area we found the fish in was even more incredible. We was in two or three foot of water and was getting hit after hit after hit. But that did take some finding. And fair play to Polsky, another man that's uh, really helped us out and he really, really, really knows the venue. And in doing so, put us on the fish. And yeah, as you've probably seen, just a mega, mega place, a mega experience. So thanks to all the lads that helped us out there. It was, um, it was proper, proper fishing. back out here to um, what I would call spot one, which is not really my doing. It's where everyone seems to have brought me to e each morning. It's a couple of little rocky islands that seems to hold fish early in the morning and definitely late at night. Um, so we're just gonna sit here quietly, chuck some bladed jigs about. Again, there's two reasons for doing that really. One, there's so much weed that it allows you to fish through the weed. Um, more effectively than if you were just fishing with like an open jig head um, and also the, the volume of water that these bladed jigs are pushing it just it works so um, yeah we're just gonna I've just missed one already so we're just gonna sit here nice and quiet just sit on the anchor for a minute a bit further off the off the island and see if we can um, put a fish on the boat It's 
very different as well with the speed that this boat drifts in yeah. comparison to what um yeah just trying to get it yeah it's never easy with new stuff it's unbelievable sometimes how shallow the perch is standing yeah like almost up on the island basically <laughs> just standing in all those weeds just right across the it's a bike I was swearing again I'm gonna it's a fish but it's not the one I was after <laughs> They are so They're so aggressive. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, I got it. There you go, mate. Woo! Thank you. You're welcome. Not quite the one moves after, but it's a start. Yeah. Always nice to feel the pressure on the rod. Get it, getting started in the morning. Get some adrenaline. Best way to start a day it's with an adrenaline rush. Thing. Yeah. Only a small one. Yeah, but still. Uh, still, so far. Still a touch. Oh, lovely little fella. Still pulls. Whoa, he's a spicy one. There you go. Oh, probably the smallest of the trip. Yeah. But um, everyone counts. Everyone counts. My poor boat handling skills this morning has dropped us in a bit close. So we've come back round and um, dropped out a bit further and it's been able to cast to the feature instead of being on top of it but definitely the smallest of the trip but these things are just fin perfect and stunning again on the um, on the bladed jig little slick shad as a trailer nice and early in the morning and just uh, stunning Love my little fella. Something special about the perch. You've seen them a thousand times, oh. but you can't just can't get enough of no, them. No, they're just brilliant. Yeah, they're pike are pike. Yeah. And big pike are great. Yeah. But little pike are normally just a bit leery, yeah. but perch are just and they fight so hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah you just love it. Oh skin cream is on. Now we can continue fishing. <laughs> Important. Always use some cream, kids. Always. Changing. Yeah, I'm gonna try the. I'm gonna downsize a bit. Go with the. It's bug mini. And I'm actually gonna modify it some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take in the weed guard. I'm actually gonna cut it right there. You know these these lures are made in made in US and basically designed for bass fishing. And the bass they Sometimes they take they take the bait a bit more than the perch will. So this one is often a bit longer. But with the perch, sometimes, especially when they're tricky, you want that just to cover the, the tip of the of the hook. So that's why I cut it. So if they are tricky and they just nab, it's this one goes down easy. One little trick I've learned from my guys. I really like the the drop shot. I think it's a really good all-round bait to be able to be around 
all around the road, to be honest. This depends what your preference are, but I really like the sensitive tip. I, I, got, I get more, um, how do you say, self-confidence when I can feel what's happening, you know. If I hit, hit, hit a small rock with a jig head, I can really feel it in the tip and yeah. When I get better confidence, I fish better, so. It's all personal preference, really. And that prop, mate, on the prop. Up. Yes! Nice one. Well done, cameraman. Hey? Good skills. Good skills. Oh. He's done it. Well done, Sam. <laughs> That's a lunker, man. Oh, holy. It's always nice when the cameraman gets five minutes off and gets fished like that. What a trip. Amazing. These fish are absolutely stunning. Bladed jigs. Oh, this one is long. This one might be 50 also. Fantastic, mate. Great stuff. Well Cheers, done, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. That's a big one. Oh. A lot of fun feeling, slightly deeper water there. Yeah, I showed oh, me how it's done this morning. <laughs> well done, mate. fish crashing and there was fish activity over there crashing, yeah. they just cast to it and first cast. Oh, cool. oh man, that's a long one. Did I mess about with these bladed jigs? No. Fox Rage bladed jig and somewhere in there is a Xander Pro as well. <laughs> a hot olive. Hot olive, yeah. Oh. Colors, man. Like, fish. like emerald green. It's just. And it's beautiful. Do you want a measurement or? Yeah, we can do is 45 ish, is it? Yeah. Well, we can have a look yeah. just to see. She's tangled up.
the colours and the markings on these little fish. Tiny little fish, but beautiful. Strong. Very strong for their size. Oh, I kind of got excited then. I thought it was a night. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Over the last couple of days we've um, mostly been fishing with casting rods and reels. Um, anything from the loose range and also the Fox Terminator range has been fantastic. Uh, mostly in a sort of 7 to 28, 7 to 30 gram casting range. Um, these have proven really useful for snapping the lures out of the weed. Um, we found with the um, spinning rods you just haven't quite got that same um, action where you can just really snap it out of there. Uh, we have used the spinning rods for um, some of the applications, mostly when we're fishing a little bit deeper and you aren't encountering quite so much weed. But the, um, the loose range of reels and rods have been fantastic. Likewise, the loose um, reels paired up with the Terminators have just worked an absolute treat for working these bladed jigs, uh, which is, as I've said a couple of times, that's primarily what we've fished. But, mostly because of the, the density of the weed. It's so hard to present other baits um, in there. I would have loved to, and I've tried to get a fish on a, on a crankbait out here, but you just get snagged up. Anything with trebles on has been, um, been a bit of a weed, a weed attractor. But yeah, the, um, the whole range has been fantastic. And like I say, anywhere between seven and 30 grams has been just about ideal. So the water here has been really, really crystal clear and um, a lot of the locals and ourselves have been using our, um, our fluorocarbon leaders in the um, 0.75, they've been absolutely perfect for it. Some of the times, as I'm a traditional English man, we've been using the Surefit um, wire traces, but either way, we've landed untold amounts of pike and untold amounts of perch. I do actually think that we've had more perch on the fluoro, um, but we've had no, no issues with the pike at all and um, we've landed there, like I say. Untold amounts of pike and perch, but both of them perfect for what we've been doing here. Well, that just about wraps up our trip then. That's um, the end of day three. We managed to get a couple of hours out with Joachim and got, um, got a couple of perch, mostly got, got pike to be quite honest, um, but yeah, just mega 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 trip and um, can't wait to come back if i'm perfectly honest it beats this horrible english weather we've got to put up with so back at the start of the film i um i said we'd have a bit of a giveaway and um, we've got a nice selection of bladed jigs from fox rage and some thunder cricket bladed jigs from strike king along with some of the soft plastics and some of the terminal tackle that we used on our trip to sweden um, if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning it, then please just comment in the comments below with how many perch myself and Hannes caught on day one. So just the total number of perch me and Hannes put in the boat on day one. Um, as you'll see, they're stunning fish. So watch from the beginning, count them all, and uh, yeah, best of luck and tight lines. <laughs>